massacres, violence on the streets of its city, a growing refugee crisis, calls for international intervention. Syria is in disarray. In short, Syria is plagued by a two-year conflict that has pit government forces against rebel fighters. Here are five fast facts you need to know about the Syrian revolution, which has morphed into the Syrian civil war. Syria's protests started out peacefully, but in March 2011, violence broke out. The conflict turned violent in the city of Dara, where a group of children and teenagers were arrested for writing political graffiti. After attempts to negotiate the release of the children were rejected by the government, peaceful protests ensued. This marked the beginning of a brutal crackdown from President al-Assad's regime, as dozens of people were killed and detained after government security forces were called to stifle protests. What began in Dara later spread towards the rest of the country, as rebels began organizing themselves for protection. By summer 2012, the revolution reached Syria's capital of Damascus, as well as Aleppo, its largest city. This is the city of Homs, captured on cell phone video, under bombardment by the government, the 40-year dictatorship of the Assad family. Tunisia jump-started the conflict. January 2011 marked the beginning of the revolution in Tunisia, which propelled the Arab Spring, a media term for a revolutionary wave of nonviolent and violent demonstrations in the Arab world. Tunisia's uprising was so successful it inspired other countries who were also experiencing political repression, autocratic leaders, corruption, and high unemployment. Syria was one of those countries. 70,000 Syrians are dead, 3,000 more die each month. At least 1 million Syrians are displaced and live in refugee camps in neighboring countries. For nearly two years, the Assad regime has waged a brutal war against the Syrian people. Additionally, al-Assad's military is being accused of using chemical warfare, specifically sarin, a deadly nerve agent which clearly violates international law. The civil war has an ethnic dimension. President al-Assad and most politicians in power are ethnically Alawite. Meanwhile, the great majority of the country is ethnically Sunni. Minorities have allied themselves with Assad as there is a fear that if Sunni majority gets into power, there could be an ethnic sectarian battle, much like the one seen in Iraq between Sunnis and Shias. Sectarian overtones can also be seen with opposition claims that the government is targeting Sunni families. My enemy is terrorism, the instability in Syria. This is our enemy. It's not about people. It's not about persons. Uh, the whole issue is not about me staying or leaving, it's about the country being safe or not. So this is the enemy that we've been fighting as Syrians. Overall, the Syrian opposition is not a unified force, but an umbrella of groups and individuals. The largest of these groups is called the Free Syrian Army. You might have also heard of the Syrian Electronic Army. This group has acted in favor of Assad by hacking the Twitter of big Western news organizations such as CBS, the Associated Press, and NPR. The world is divided on Syria, but bizarrely, the United States and Al-Qaeda are on the same side. Al-Qaeda, as well as the U.S., are essentially rooting for rebels in this civil war. The United States has even considered arming the opposition. However, the fact that Al-Qaeda is now involved in the conflict has thwarted U.S. arming efforts, as there are fears that weapons could land into the hands of religious extremists. Rebel factions deemed more moderate have received the support of the United States and its allies. I'm Joanna Hausman, and this has been 5 Fast Facts. See the article on heavy.com for more details and information.